sometimes you have to take a step back and really consume what Ed Cooley has done here at Providence in his sixth year, 113 wins, trying to get to the NCAA tournament for the fourth consecutive year. Let's take a look at his starting lineup. Of course, they had to replace Ben Benzel and Chris Dunn. Both were in this past year's NBA draft. We talked about Bullock, how important he is, but Cartwright is a huge piece to the puzzle. Meanwhile, for the Georgetown Hoyas, their depth is going to be pressured a little bit. And for more on that, let's go to Jamie Erdahl. He's a graduate student. It's great for him, not so good for Andy Tool no. and coach Robert Morris. Shot clock is down to eight. Cartwright lets it fly, and it's good. A three-pointer, and Providence takes a one-point lead, and everybody sits down. This kid is much improved, had his career-high 26 points the other day at Butler, which was a tough game for for the Friars, getting better and better all the time. Govan for three, it wasn't that pretty. And here comes Cartwright, left hand with a pretty, pretty finish. Shot, you know, they, he is a driver, that's what he does, and he wants to get involved in this game. Cartwright, beautiful pull-up jumper from 15 feet. Govan, nice move from right to left, stops at the free throw line, jumper's good. That's a good move from a big kid. He's Kite right, he's got to attack those two guys. And he puts it on the floor, dribbles to the right, and gets the shot to go from 15. Five minutes of this game, this is there. Kite right, nice juke from right to left. A little extra pass, Lindsay for three, and it's good. Georgetown with the ball, shot clock winding down to 10. Runner is no good. A gal has been very active in this first half for Georgetown. He's been terrific. I mean, we're talking about he's got seven rebounds in this game and nine points already. I mean, yeah, that. <laughs> One and a half to play in the I first had to get half. it out of my system early. Well, we may bring it up again later oh, on. <laughs> Here's good the other. Yeah, very good shot fake. And then comfortable as he goes down toward the rim. The shot fake is such a basic play. Clock is down to four. I'm not sure if Georgetown realizes it. Here's Govan with the shot clock at one. No good. Put back, no good. Here's the outlet to Cartwright. You gotta go. Yep, game clock is down to two. Cartwright toward the paint, and it's good! Count the buckets! Nine points for Cartwright. And he's given Providence a seven-point lead going into the halftime locker room. Well, I'm not sure if this is how they drew it up, but it's great body control. Well, it looked like he was going to call timeout first. I think Kyron Cartwright is one of the most improved guys in the country, and I thought last year Ben Bentel was too, so Ed Cooley's guys do get better, and this is a classic example. This kid really playing well. Well, that's an 8-0 run for Providence to finish up the first half with... Both of these teams came into this ball game with 0-2 records in the Big East, and... Holt able to force years because they gave him a six year of eligibility, but he is really struggling. Well, there's Peak. That's what he was doing against Xavier the other day, and he converts the three pointer. That's a big shot. And Young can't handle the outlet pass. He was 9 of 16 against Xavier. That's why today, having the struggles that he had in the first half is somewhat surprising. Derrickson, step back three. It's good. He rattles it home. Back to back threes by Georgetown. They've tied it up at 34. Tough shot. Actually, they're taking the lead by three, 37-34. Injury in because of uh, uh, his freshman year, but he had to miss those first four games. Eight on the shot clock, and Lindsey with a tough shot over the hand of Peak. 11 points for Lindsey. Providence goes up 39-37. Pryor has not gone off for Georgetown in the second half. Not even getting a good look. Hayes to Derrickson for three. Great four. This game, Pryor left open with the defender, Lindsey, stumbling, and he converts the three. The moment was open. The shot clock now is down under 10. Holt with the shot clock at five. Puts it on the floor. Initiates the contact. Count the bucket. And he'll have a chance to tie this ball game up. Strong move there. I think he had to because the shot clock was winding down. Well, you know, the greatest thing is when a kid gets the ball and the shot clock's winding down, he says, oh, I got to shoot it. So no matter what kind of shot I take, coach can't yell at me. <laughs> Erickson missed a handful of games earlier this year, had a sore knee. Lindsay tries to answer and he rattles it home, and it gives Providence the lead. Higher to the corner, and he shot too strong. And he's open there, too. Cartwright, no look pass to Bullock in the paint. One handed shot is good. What was a three point lead for Georgetown is now a three point lead for Providence. 13 points for Bullock. Well, that was a good job. So the team fouls. Georgetown's going to be shooting two for the rest of this half. Nine minutes to play. They couldn't get to the foul line in the first half. 
to 14 different lead changes in this ball game. Count the bucket. Diallo was able to convert. And he took the contact as he laid it in. Well, that was a great job of reading the defense. Diallo curls off this screen into the lane, and they're trailing him, and that's why he's able to score that. He saw the defense trailing him, so he curls into the lane and is able to get an easy basket there. Desperate. Good duck in there by Govan. Govan curls it over the top of the defender. Lindsay's got a little size on his man. Jackson hands it off to Diallo. Four on the shot clock, and he deadens it right off the back of the rim. Here's Cartwright, leaves it inside for Jackson, and is blocked away. Jumper from Lindsay, good! Splashes it home! Shot clock long, is down to five. As long as I'm leading, I keep him on the bench. Cartwright off the glass, no good. Put back is there! Emmett Holt came in, sweeping off the glass. Right, asking for the screen by Holt. Holt watches Cartwright take the jumper, it's good. You and Jamie combined, although Jamie probably could do an eight-mile run. You and I are not sure about it. Here's Holt with a two-handed jam. Inside to Holt. And Holt going to the free throw line. It's the ball so deep, and you know Holt likes to go to the left shoulder. So Diallo should be overplaying that left shoulder and make him go to the right shoulder, go the other way, lets him go to his strong hand. Providence wins it 76 to 70 over Georgetown. The Hoyas are 0-3. Providence, nine wins away from another 20-win season. Get that first Big East victory.